before the opening bell, U.S. indices closing mixed on Thursday. Shares in materials, food, beverage and tobacco and food staples retailing, those sectors losing traction while shares in consumer services, transportation and capital goods sectors gained strength. On the economic dock in Empire Manufacturing increasing to 22.5 in March, the import price index improving 0.4% in February. In other news, initial jobless claims, they reduced to 226,000 in the week ended March 10th while continuing claims. They remained unchanged week over week at 1.88 million in the week ended March 3rd. The Philadelphia Fed business outlook reduced to 22.3 in March, all as decliners beat advancers 56% of S&P 500 constituents trading lower yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, Adobe Systems, ADBE, announcing first quarter adjusted EPS of $1.55 versus 94 cents a year ago on revenue of $2.08 billion. Also, we had Broadcom posting first quarter adjusted EPS from continuing operations of $5.12 compared to $3.63 last year on adjusted net revenue of $5.33 billion. Now turning overseas, Asian markets mostly down today. The Nikkei down half a percent, the Hang Seng down 0.12 percent, China CSI 300 down 1 percent, South Korea's Kospi up 0.06 percent. European markets gaining some ground and U.S. futures calling for a mixed start to the session. In terms of expectations today, Tiffany & Co. fourth quarter EPS seen at $1.64 versus $1.45 one year ago. While on the economic docket today, 8.30 in the morning, we have February housing starts month over month, and that's expected to decline 2.7%. We also have February building permits month over month expected to decline 4.1%. Meanwhile, February industrial production figures also do, but 10 o'clock in the morning, we move on to January jolts job openings, and that's expected at a rate of roughly 50 917. And we also have the March Preliminary University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index expected at 99.3. Now in terms of the markets, the S&P is where we begin and that's under pressure, while the Nasdaq, that's under pressure and also in focus. The Relative Strength Index capped by a declining trend line and short positions below 7120 are favored with targets at 7020 and 6987 in extension. And lastly, the Dow Jones, that's under pressure.